neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now a coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 33. The Buffaloes and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Has some daylight. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Mike, four. Let's go, D. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Five wide. And they push him out at the 41. We've got a change at the quarterback position. You've got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. the middle for a nice game. down again. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And this one's going out of the end zone for the touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Now he pitches it. Tackle at the 23. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. It's third and ten. Ball on their own 20. Roger, 
Gets it. He's in space. He's taken down at the 36. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. From their own 36-yard line, first down. the middle he gets four maybe five yards on the counter that brings him second and five This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. From the 50, first down. Here's the halfback. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. of the drive. And he stopped behind the line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. From the 35-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. He gets rid of this one. This is the 10th play of this drive. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Yeah, let's go second. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. Kicks away, and it's good! Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Short kickoff. One team forced to punt Herbie, and the other one comes right back and gets some points. Boy, Brad, this is exactly how you draw it up. You come up with a big stop to start the game off. Your offense moves down, gets, his, gets points on the board. You can't start much better than this. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Our score here at Kyle Field. The Blue Jays, three. The Buffaloes, nothing. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Seven yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From their own 47 yard line, it's first down. It's 
scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. out to around the 25. First, first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Gets out to around the 12. up a solid seven yards on the counter play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Touchdown. the PAT. So a seven-play, 68-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So the score now, 7-3. They'll bring him down at the 34. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's brought down in the open field. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 48. Gets out to around the 38. Makes it to the 27. From the 27 yard line. First down. And they make the stop around the 26 yard line. That's a deal in one play. That makes it second and eight. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Got the corner, and he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. in and he's got a lane. Nice gain as he works the right side. That'll make it second and four. And this play is number eight on the drive. Watch 32, watch 32. Heavy on the edges, heavy on the edges. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. The Cavalry's coming. He passes it. Fires a laser touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? 
Presley. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 37. But well, this has been a fun game to watch. Going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Five-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Third down, six to go. Ball on their own 41. And he's level at the 47. Just throws this one away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 47. Mike, four. Let's go, Captain. Let's go. We got this. We got this. Easy, 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 easy. And he is drilled at the 39. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. the sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick out to his receiver. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Got it, and brought down immediately. And he's hit immediately. The offense calls a timeout. And that was their third and final timeout. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From 
the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Our score here at Kyle Field. The Blue Jays, 13. The Buffaloes, 7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. They run it left. And they get nice yardage on that run. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes the catch and look out. He goes out of bounds around the 34 yard line. That reception good for around four yards. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. You know, I think the defense had a pretty good idea of the tendencies of the offense there. They were anticipating run. At least it seemed they were anticipating run. And again, they were able to blow that play up from the word go and not even allow the offense to get back to the line of scrimmage. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gives it left side. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Three down, three down. Mike four. Down, push down. Watch, watch, watch it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six on the play. That brings him second and five. Decent run up the gut. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. Him hard at the 27 yard line. 
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at the 26. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Quick strike, and he drops it. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Now, fooled no one there, Brad. That'll make it 39. He chucks it downfield. That close to being intercepted. Number 86, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He makes it out to midfield. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. That's a great tackle at the 42. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Here's the give. He picks up a few with that carry, and it's enough to move the sticks. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. again he fights forward to about the 39 really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield second down 10 yards to go ball on the 39 yard line here's the halfback and down he goes right around the 38 yard line And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Quick throw out to the receiver. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Here's the give. Good outside run there. And that'll do it for the third quarter. And at the end of three, the scoreboard dead even.
Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Brought down at the 35-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35. Quick strike to the fullback. Incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 34-yard line, third down. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, excellent punt. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down. From the 38-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Got an opening. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game of six on the way. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty seven. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop around the one-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up. They're going to slow down this drive. That makes it first and goal. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. Five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. 
So that's a seven play, 63 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Gets to about the 17 yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Short pass, middle of the field. The defense scoops it. He dies, and he'll be marked down. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. Knocked out of bounds right around the 14-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 14-yard line, first down. set him up with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. I'm sure the coaches are going to tell him to calm down and be more careful because I guarantee you, nobody keeps throwing those passes into the defense like that without making a mistake. Off play action, and it's intercepted in the end zone. Big interception by this defense, and now they hand it over to their offense with a chance to seize the momentum of this game. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Here they come. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. They'll need something really big here out of their quarterback on fourth and long. He airs it out. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. run and he's brought down the defense calls a timeout and they'll have one timeout left they're about four yards away here on second down brought down after a nice run up the middle good pickup and with a new set of downs a chance to kill even more time the defense calls a timeout and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock takes a knee
The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 2013 Buffalo. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.